So what a human being needs is not confidence, he needs clarity of perception that you are able to see life as clearly as it is possible. If you can see life just the way it is, then you will walk through life effortlessly. Not only effortlessly, you will walk through life blissfully because you can see everything about yourself and the life around you. When I say everything, let's start with yourself. Apart from some knowledge about your own physical body and the mind, if you look at yourself, you really know nothing by yourself except what you might have read somewhere or heard somewhere, other people's inputs. By your own experience, you only have experienced some amount of your body, some amount of your mind. Isn't it so? Yes? There is a whole science and technology as to how one can enhance their perception. The whole of Eastern mysticism or any mysticism for that matter is just about that, to enhance one's perception. Why we are talking about a third eye is a perception beyond the two eyes has opened up. You are able to see things which are beyond the physical dimension of life. So that is referred to as a third eye, a new level of perception. So to enhance perception is very important because only what you perceive you know. Rest is all stories and imagination, isn't it? What you perceive and you experientially know, that's all you know. Rest are just empty stories. It doesn't matter how great the story is, it is still an empty story which won't make a difference in your life. If it has to make a difference in your life, it must… there must be an experiential dimension to it. That will happen only if you perceive. You heard of Vivekananda? He's the first yogi who came to this country in 1893 and made a little bit of waves in those days. So he also went to Europe on his way back from the United States and happened to be a guest of a German philosopher. And after dinner they met in the study. And there was… Uh, they were discussing this and that and uh, there was a large book on his table which was over seven hundred pages. So Vivekananda said, uh, because the man was speaking very highly about the book, he said, can you give me that book for an hour? Let me see what is there in it. That man laughed. He said, in one hour you are going to read this book? I have been reading it for weeks and not getting anywhere because it's so complex. And that too it's in German language, you don't even know the language. What will you do with it in an hour? Vivekananda said, you give it to me for an hour, let me see. So the book was given to him. He took the book and placed it between his two hands and just sat there with his eyes closed. After one hour, he took the book and gave it to him and said, this doesn't have anything significant in it. <laughs> that man thought, this is the peak of arrogance. You don't even open the book and you make a comment about the book, a book which is in a language that you do not know. So he… F he was a little put off by this and he says, what is this nonsense? Vivekananda said, you ask me anything about the book, I'll tell you. Okay, in page 633, what is there? Verbatim, Vivekananda repeats. You ask any page, just num number the page, he will tell you what is there word by word on every page. Then he asked, how is this? You didn't even open the book, how is this possible? He said, that's why they call me Vivekananda. <laughs> Viveka means perception. His name is Narendra. His guru called him Vivekananda because of his ability to perceive. So he said, that's why I'm called Vivekananda. So perception of life is not… you cannot all process it through your logical mind. It doesn't work like that because logic will filter out so much of your life without which you cannot live. Intuition is just a different level of computing. This is… if I ask you to multiply 1736 uh, with 18,334, what's the number? You don't know. 
But if you buy a hundred rupee calculator, tuk tuk tuk, it'll come out. So is it smarter than you? No. It is just that you have to go through twenty-five steps to get to that number, it is just jumping to it, this is intuition. We all have so much information that you are not conscious of. Most of the information that you have within you, you are not conscious of this. If you develop intuition without logical steps, you… instead of going through ten steps, you just hopped one and got there. This is a certain way of exploiting what you have, which you must have. But today, because of modern education, we've made logical mind everything. <coughs> so for everything, we have to go through many steps. This is one reason why modern societies are going through such enormous levels of stress, because the smallest things, they have ten steps. What your grandmothers knew just like that, today the billion-dollar research is going on about the same things, because we are looking at everything logically. Intuition brings ease to your life that you don't have to go through many, many steps for every simple thing, you just know. It's like today what to eat in urban societies, especially in the United States is a huge issue. What to eat, what to eat, every two years they keep coming up with the new way to eat. But you throw something in front of your dog, he knows whether to eat or not to eat, isn't it? <laughs> you have a far more evolved neurological system why is it that you don't know? Human neurological system is the most evolved neurological system. You must be far more sensitive and perceptive to everything in the world and in the universe than any other creature. Unfortunately, it is not so because <coughs> you are… like you got a cell phone. Because of your cell phone, you're walking straight into the traffic. You don't know where the cars are coming or buses are coming. Similarly, you have a new gadget which you call a cerebral activity, which is very new in the evolutionary scale. You still are hyped about it, the silly thoughts flying all over the place. You think you are so busy with it that you don't notice what's happening. When… when the tsunami happened, we were the first teams to reach there with our medical uh, vans. When I look there, lots of dead bodies, human bodies, but I notice not a single fish is dead. Not only those cattle which were tied in the homes are dead. All the dogs, cattle, donkeys, everybody had the brains to move away. Only the human fool did not realize. Simply because this is going on and you don't notice a thing. <laughs>